Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Reborns Cradle. Today I have Cambrian Antoinette. She is the Chase Sculpt by Bonnie Brown and Reborn by Lacey Molson in Canada. Um, I'm here today to do a tag. Now I first saw this tag on Shelly's Dolly's uh, channel. Shelly, hi Shelly. It's been a long time since I visited her on her channel. I've been so busy. Even in the summer, the summer has gone by really fast. But when I saw that she had a tag, I love doing tags. So I decided to hop on and play along. There are seven questions. Now, Shelly has seen it on, um, I think she said, March Payne's Midlife Dolly Crisis channel. I'm going to check that out and I'll subscribe. And also the original person was Evergreen Art Dolls. Sorry, my voice, Evergreen Art Dolls. And I will check that channel out too and subscribe. So seven questions. Um, I've answered pretty much all of these before, but hey, it's still fun. It's still fun to play along. I've done over a hundred takes, I'm sure, over the years. But number one is, what is the origin of your YouTube channel name? Now, my channel name, I when I first discovered this hobby, I had a channel already. Um, I was Brenda, the Canadian Avon lady. And I used to sell Avon and I did hulls. So my channel was always about, most of it was about hulls, like opening Avon orders. And mostly I was my own best customer. <laughs> so um, I was already familiar with having a channel. Um, even before my Avon channel, I did have a personal channel that's still up. I think I renamed it to um, Miss B. Allen because that's my teaching name. So um, back when our school division received all new laptops and Google Chrome was um, being, um, what's the word, preferred to use and to save all our teaching stuff, I chose the email of my, of that particular a channel that I already had. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm no longer on this channel anymore. It's okay if I'm called Miss B. Allen. <laughs> so I had a channel since 2014. <laughs> My videos are still up and they're still very awkward, <laughs> but they're really cringy actually. Heck, even the ones on this channel are very cringy, but I won't get into that. But what is the origin of my channel name, My Wee Reborn's Cradle? Um, I didn't realize that it would be a tongue twister for so many people. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Everyone who shouted me out always had to practice <laughs> or like my name is tongue is a tongue twister. So but um my wee reborn's cradle, I wanted the word reborn for sure in my title because that's what my channel was going to be focused on. So I wanted a name where people could find a reborn channel. Um, and as for my We Reborns cradle, I didn't really want to use like crib or bed. I was trying to look for an interesting word to the hobby and cradle. I love my very first a uh, reborn bed was or not a reborn bed sorry my real a bed for a real baby was a cradle and i love cradles i do have a cradle it hosts a moses basket <sighs> here i am rambling <laughs> sorry um but i also knew that i didn't want my real name featured in my channel name so i thought well what can i do like it's got to be about reborns. It has to be about cradle. But I don't want just my reborns cradle. It's kind of boring. So I thought it was kind of catchy. And I thought, well, we, well, in 
where I live in Canada, we is used a lot for like wee little mouse, wee little thing. Did you see that wee little thing? Or like, you know, the word we meant little. So I thought, I know my wee reborn scandal. So I did think, I did think long and hard to try and come up with a catchy name, but I didn't realize it was a tongue twister. <laughs> to me, it's not. It's just a wee reborns. But you know what? I read, being a kindergarten teacher for so long, um, Dr. Seuss is like so easy. I can really easily read that. <laughs> Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Number two, what is a fear of yours? My fear is when I pass away and all the reborns have, and when my family decides to resell them to new homes, they're going to sell them for what they think they're worth and not what I ever, because I never disclosed how much they were. Just kidding. <laughs> no, no, that's not a fear of mine. <laughs> A fear of mine for real is probably bumblebees. I was stung by wasps and bees and it really hurts and it really stings for like hours on end and really bad. So I'm a scared of bees. Um, number three, what am I good at? Or what are you good at? What am I good at? I'm... I've been told that I'm really good at reading stories. I can think of stories from the top of my head. And um, <laughs> I remember when I taught grade three many, many years ago, I was just telling an oral story from the top of my head. And I had like EAs come into my room and just sit there and listen to me. And they're all intent. And in fact, last year I had a grade seven in service with um, my students. It was for an ML MLRC initiative. It's a uh, writing program. And uh, our particular school division was being piloted to present the program to teachers first and then the students. But this particular session, it had myself and the students and we were doing a, a, an exercise about writing, but first we were telling our stories and that room was packed you guys it was I had two different grade seven classrooms in there at the time plus myself and the co cooperating teacher from the city and who was a specialist and then a tv crew well they weren't a real tv crew but they did have like <laughs> phone big tablets and phones and the lights <laughs> were on us so we had kind of like a tv crew I had the superintendent in the room of the schools. I had a few other teachers in the in my class. Oh, it was packed. And during my story time, um, I had the whole room just listening in on me. And I didn't really realize this, but afterwards when we did our um our feedback and thoughts about the process and how did it go. Um, everyone said that like everyone was really listening into what I was saying and it was really good news to hear. So I guess I'm a really good storyteller and I guess if I ramble on <laughs> that, maybe I learned to be, just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. Um, as for, I learned that I'm good at doing macrame. Um, I really enjoy doing macrame. I'm not perfect at it but I guess I'm good at it I guess what I'm not good at I try rooting and I'm really bad Shelly says she's really really good at rooting and I'm not <laughs> um number four what's my favorite movie oh my goodness I have so many favorite movies and I've done a recent tag with this question so now I'll pick um oh <laughs> I was going to say like a recent fave, but I I love lots of movies. Okay, let's do genres. I've the last video said uh it was kind of like an action thriller movie, so I won't do that. So now my favorite 
comedian movie or comedy movie. Oh, and I already said that in the last video, too. That was the movie Tammy. Oh, I know a movie. No, it's too sad. <laughs> I was going to mention a particular movie that I really love because I can relate to it so much, but no, it's too sad. Uh, sometimes I don't like watching it because it just I don't feel like crying, so I don't watch it. Um, okay, what's a favorite movie to make me feel happy? Happy within. Um, did you ever watch the movie Working Girl with Harrison Ford? And, oh, how come her name is totally escaping my mind? Ah, how come I can't think of her name? She's off in Cherry 2000. <laughs> I come on, can't think of her name. Anyways, Working Girl. It's um not, the title is deceiving because it's not about like, you know, pretty woman or not that kind of working girl. It's like an actually working girl. Like she has a job as a secretary. And anyway, it's about her moving up in the line of business. About a working girl. She works. <laughs> oh, how come I can't think of her name? Please help me out in the comments. What's her name? I'm going to be so mad at myself. Because I should know her name. Anyways, I really enjoy it. That's a really inspiring movie to me. It's funny. Uh, Sigourney Weaver's in it. Of course, she's my favorite. I love many of her movies. Um, but the... Oh, is, is there an M in her name? I don't know. I can't... Anyways, blah, 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 blah. Number... Oh, and part of number four is your favorite show. I remember as a kid running home from school and watching the Canadian show Degrassi Junior High. Oh, that was my favorite show as a teenager. And guess what? In grade 7, I used to show that show to my kids. And they also got hooked. I'm like, yes, the original 80s TV show Degrassi Junior High. Everyone loves that show who watches it. Um, As an adult... My kind of shows that I really enjoy are like dystopian types or like um, end of the world types, disaster types. I really love shows like Lost. I love those kind of shows. Um, there is a movie on Netflix, The Rain. Oh, I love that series so much. I've watched it like four times. Um, another show that came out at the same time that Lost in is a show called Invasion. And it's only a one season, but so amazing. I love that show too. But um yeah, I get right now I've been re watching Lost. Um and of course I love shows like Seventh Heaven, the Grass um Seventh Heaven, Felicity, Dawson's Creek. Uh, when I was younger, like Little House on the Prairie, The Waltons, I love them all. Highway to Heaven, um, of course I love the classics, Beverly Hillbillies, the, um, the 80s shows like Love Boat, Knight Rider. <laughs> Knight Rider. <laughs> My cousin said, you guys should watch Knight Rider. And I'm like, why? He's like, you'll love that show. You'll love it. So I'm like, I doubt it. It's about a car. Big deal. But when I watch it, oh yeah, I love Thing Runner. Star Trek original, Star Trek original, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, the list can go on and on. Roseanne, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, uh, Home Improvement, Cheers, Night Court. Oh my goodness, so many. And so many genres too. <laughs> what am I currently watching? Okay, anything that I did not mention. Oh, I'm addicted to 90 Day Fiancé and all of the, what are they called? The shows that, spinoffs? Yes, and all the spinoffs <laughs> from 90 Day. <laughs> oh, what a crazy show. I think part of the reason I love 90 Day Fiancé so much is that my fiancé and the guy I've been with for 13 years now he is I met him online so he is he he isn't a 90 day fiance because he's actually from my safe same province I mean 
if I want to meet someone, I'm going to pick someone who's close to me, who's not, who's affordable to go see. Like, <laughs> anyways, um, blah, blah. Number five now, what's my favorite doll? Uh, well, as much as I love Camprian, I love many of my dolls. Camprian is one of the top. Yes, I do love. Um, all of my Lord of the Eagles, I love. Um, I don't know. I love so many dolls. But I think my number one absolute fave is my Megan Hope. And she is a partial silicone. Um, and she is the spitting image of Eric the day he was born. And I, I blown away when I look at Megan. It's like, wow. It's like, just like Eric. But he grew very fast. So he, he only resembled that look for like maybe a month. That's it. <laughs> Not even a month. Number six. Favorite store. Now is like now it's not my favorite store anymore because it's so expensive. But <laughs> Staples, <laughs> can you believe it? I love Staples office supplies. Ah, pens, papers, binders, notepads. I love it. I'm such a geek. I just love Staples, but that was so expensive. I'd rather go to Zalorama. <laughs> Um, probably Walmart, Dollar. I, lo I still love going to, to Dollarama, I don't care what anyone says, I really love going there. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I love Dollar Tree, if I can get there. Can we have to cough some more? I'm getting a little stuffy here. But yeah, um, I feel most excited to go into Dollarama. <laughs> Number seven, clothing style. And Shelly wasn't sure if that meant for herself or for the dolls. For myself, I just love um, casual, ca upper casual wear, like working clothes. <laughs> okay, is that, years ago it was called the preppy look. Yeah, I like the preppy look. <laughs> As for my dolls, I love them in sleepers the most. Um, just normal stuff from like Walmart, Carter's. Um, but I have a lot of fancy things. I have a lot of knitted things. I have vintage things. Um, but most of the time I love my babies in sleepers. My vin My alternative dolls that I have, I like them in like really vintage, like, old looking vintage style stuff that's what i love on those oh and those are the seven those are the seven questions yay hopefully i didn't take so long and forever i know that i ramble so much um thank you guys for being here it's been wonderful i know last week i made more videos than usual um, oh, guess what? I just got some happy news. I got offered a grade five teaching position. So, yay, I'm so excited. Um, I never thought that I would get a grade five. I actually anticipated getting a grade three or a grade six. So, I planned for those grades already. I And in my collection of years of teaching, I have not taught a grade five. I quickly looked at the subject areas for social studies and science and I'm really really excited to teach those subjects like um for instance my favorite in science grade five is weather I love weather my dad is a retired me meteorologist so and in my grade four I used to do projects on, on weather all the time <laughs> but anyways here I am rambling I am a grade five teacher now yay oh my goodness i'm so happy i'm so excited that i do have a teaching position for next year and i'm very very excited and it was lovely to do this tag thank you so much for everyone who has been coming over to my channel and leaving likes and comments that means a lot you guys um 
hey, that just means now that I know I have a job, I can definitely do some giveaways that I have planned. Yes, I still have my um, diaper appreciation um, bin. <laughs> If if you know what I'm talking about, I made these cute little mini mini diapers. Oh, where's mini diapers with um names on them who have participated in my Passy Scoops uh games. So yay, yay, I can afford to do this. I'm so happy, you guys. I'm so happy. And thanks to all of you for coming over and um making my channel be here still be here is alive because of you guys so thank you so much and um, this was a really fun tag and i hope that you're watching shelly um other than that i hope you all are having a great day and thank you for spending some time with camping here i know i didn't really do much with her at all she's just lying there she's sleeping. i didn't really want to bother her <laughs> So anyways, guys, oh, and thank you to um, Asha. She gave me a really positive comment on my last video. I did my roleplay video with Carly, the scoops, the ASMR scoop video. I didn't think anyone would really be interested in watching that. <laughs> I got a few comments. Thank you to everyone who commented, but Asha asked me again, again. <laughs> And I would love to make more for you. And Asha, I do love your ASMR videos too. So, I don't know. I guess it's the sounds. I just, I love the sounds. Anyways, I am rambling as usual. I hope that you all have a good day. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so happy, you guys. Big giant hugs to all of you. Much hands, much hands. Yes, guys. Love you. Until next time, very, very soon. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye.